Since I just washed my truck, I'll uh, do a review of these items here. These are from uh, Rocker Armor, and they're called uh, Rocker Protectors. There's our uh, logo right there. But the idea is that they're these um, really tough panels that go along the bottom of the, the doors here. So we have it on the front door and on the back door. There's a little piece here, and they also have a piece that goes on the, uh, the back uh, of the truck right there. So four pieces per side. And um, I liked how these were, were shown and thought they would look pretty good. If you look here, they, um, they're a pretty tough material, uh, some sort of, of polymer here, and they got a bit of a texture to them. So they're going to be very durable. Um, a few things I was surprised at. Uh, one is that when I, when I uh, got them, I thought maybe there was a problem or I'd gotten the wrong one because they're kind of, you see they have kind of corners here, kind of squared off at the ends. But then the um, Tacoma's doors are very curvy. So I was thinking it would be something that fit along the bottom here, which they don't. So even though they're called rocker armor, they aren't really protecting any kind of rocker panels or even the bottom parts of the doors, which are going to be most susceptible to damage and scrapes and all that sort of thing. So I was a bit disappointed in that. And this is how I guess they're designed. So they don't go to the edge of the door here. They mainly stay on the flat surfaces. So where the door kind of curves and turns a little bit and curves down here, they, they don't do that. Uh, they're just, you know, on this part here that's a bit, I guess, a bit, a bit more uh, flat and uh, doesn't have little changes in angle like here and here. But some things to keep in mind, there's another product out there made by a place called uh, Warrior Products, I think. And it's a, a metal type of um, lower door or rocker panel protector. And those will come in black, I think they even come in some chrome colors and other finishes. But those are metal. And from what I've seen, those will go on the door and uh, go all the way to the bottom of the door, which is nice. Now, oddly enough, those cost not too much more than this set right here. But what you have to do with those is you actually have to, in the front door here, drill six holes right into the sheet metal of your door to put in the anchors that will then attach the, the, the panels on. Now, I wasn't really that big into doing that. Uh, another option that I might tell you is that Rocker Armor does make some um, universal kits. Now, you can buy these universal kits in various uh, heights. If you buy one that's for a standard specific application, like the Tacoma or whatever, it's going to be one height. So if we look at this right here, the height of it is uh, six inches. And you can buy their universal kits in heights of six, seven, or eight inches. And those will include a uh, pattern uh, piece that you put up against your door and trace the outline then you transfer that to the actual piece and you cut your own profile. So if you want something to be a bit more exact that might be the way to go. Now what you'd really need if I look at the bottom of the door all the way up is you need something that would be nine inches uh, uh, nine inches tall but they only make them in heights like I say of uh, six seven or eight. So you could buy an 8-inch version and then use the pattern and put it on there and trim it uh, to fit the curve of the door. But you would, if you wanted to put it on the bottom of the door, which is really what I was hoping there, it would go up to, you know, right about there, which I guess could, could still work. So it would be a bit more uh, time and effort. And the universal patterns, especially with the 8-inch um, uh, the version, are going to cost a bit more than these. So keep those in mind for some protection for your, um, your bottom parts of the doors, although not the most very bottom part. But no matter what, these are still a pretty, um, pretty good way to go. They just apply on with um, automotive 3M tape. It covers the whole uh, backside. And so they, they really do adhere well. I don't think there's going to be any problem with this. They've been on now for a, a month or two and not showing any signs of coming off. So, yeah, they're, they're on really well. One thing that I will say is that whenever I'm putting on some type of uh, sticker item uh, or uh, 3M tape thing, of course I'm cleaning off the, uh, the surface first with alcohol. 
but specifically what these instructions say is to use a um, wax and grease remover first and then clean it off with um, the alcohol and then put them on. And just so you know, this is what I used right here. It's, um, I'm getting to the light. It's a uh, Rust-Oleum uh, wax and tar remover. So I rubbed that first down along the whole surface to clean off any kind of um, um, wax, any kind of surface uh, stuff on there. And then after that's dry, clean it off with the, uh, the alcohol. And uh, that's the, the process that they suggest to use. So, at any rate, it's a pretty good product. The look is nice. It does have uh, you know, a decent amount of protection going on there. And then unlike the Warrior Products one, it's not that permanent. I'm not drilling holes in the door. So, um, works well. Although if you really want to, and uh, knowing what I know now, I might prefer doing this, but I might suggest getting the uh, Universal Kit with a height of 8 inches, and then cutting it to match the curve of the door so you can go all the way down and um, have protection where you really need it. But if you don't want to go through all that trouble, uh, these, as they are, uh, certainly will work nicely.